Hey everybody, now this story is not really a story and it's not really news. This video may be a precursor to a new type of show I might be doing. Wink wink hint hint, who knows? But I'm uh, just going to try it out. So, uh, I was reading this new article about six ways to mind hack your brain to relieve stress. I had a friend who recently just went through something probably due to living a very stressful life. She is very successful in her job just got a brand new promotion and you know that mental stress can turn into something physical and, it, and, it's, and it's real it could turn into something that can hurt you or you know hinder your situation and you don't want that you know what I'm saying there's a lot of ways to reduce stress but these are six different ways that you could try to reduce stress just six different ways be mindful of how you label things meaning does everything have to be a life or death situation just like you getting to work you know, really worth maybe initially crashing to somebody, running over somebody, getting a ticket, like maybe causing all these other stress factors because you're trying to get to work on time. Or, I mean, does it really like, is that really like, like life or death situation? Because you didn't text your boyfriend or girlfriend or because they didn't text you back right after you text them. Is that something you really need to be losing sleep over? Number two, erase and replace. That you should practice deleting things mentally from, from your mind. Like, you know how you can easily be typing something up on your computer and you see it as a typo. I didn't mean to type that on your phone, delete, 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 and it's done, it's over, it's gone. But with your brain, it's not so easy, but if you practice, you're just going to delete, delete, saying out loud that you actually might be able to either lessen this thought in your brain or completely get rid of it all together. Number three. Use your imagination. Now, this is one I get. Like, seriously. Uh, I actually have a world I've created in my head where I go to when I'm very, very stressed out. Seriously, I've told people about this world many, many times. People look at me like I'm crazy. But I'm not as stressed as most people most of the time. Because I go to that world. And I go to that world and I sit there and I'm completely by myself. And I gather back who I am, what I'm supposed to do, what I'm supposed to be. And how am I supposed to accomplish today? How am I supposed to get through this stressful situation outside my world? Seriously, I'll, a brief description of my, my world. My grass, the grass in my world is uh, all white. The grass is white. The sun is blue. The grass, the, the, the dirt is like red, red. Uh, the ocean is orange. Like seriously, this is my world. This is where I go and I stand in this tall grass. And I'm in a white suit. I'm in a white suit with no shoes or socks on, walking through this white grass. It's very tall. And this is the world that I stand in while I get my mind together. No, it sounds crazy, but you might even try it out. Number four, look at your life like a movie. Now, this should be so easy for some of you. Since some of you think your life is a movie, or some of you have actually been in situations where you could only see that in a movie. Be the director. Be the actor. First of all, be the director. What does the director do when he doesn't like something in a movie? Cut. Stop. He walks away, goes and gets his thoughts together, talks it out with himself, and comes back and says, all right, action, and does it over again. Be the actor. Be who you need to be in life to get this thing called life done. If, the, if it calls for you to go in with a smile on your face and just forget the other people in work exist, do that. How many movies have we seen that guy at work who is completely unnoticed, you know, completely just you know what I'm saying if you need to be that guy today you be that guy today if you need to be the husband who just in movie you know that husband in movies who uh-huh uh-huh and, and at his wife uh-huh he ain't mad is he ever mad at his wife no he never mad he's the late he's the most late man his wife probably the loudest most irate woman on the planet earth but what is he doing he's just uh-huh be that guy be that person it's your life number five rewrite what's valuable to you sticky notes everywhere sticky notes seven things Sticky notes everywhere. And just assess what are those top seven things that are valuable to you. And then you look at that list and go, wait a minute, are these things really, is this what I'm really getting stressed over? Is this what I'm really getting stressed over? Let me move that, ball it up, throw it in the trash can. You know, you can't handle everything in life with 100% energy. Some things only need 10%, some things need 100%. But sometimes it's reversed where the things that need 10%, we put 100% in. The things that need 100%, we only put 10% in. So get them value straight. And number six, stop by graveyard. Now, when I first saw this in the article, I was like, huh, meh. But I get it, though. 
it talks about would you think about these things that you're getting stressed about on your deathbed? Like, would you really be that concerned about what Jana is saying about you at work if you're on your deathbed? Would you really give a crap if this guy liked you or not on your deathbed? Would you really be concerned about, you know, baking them damn cupcakes for your friends on your deathbed? Some people would be. And that, that's really some stuff you have to look at. Like, really, really look at, like, what am I doing in life while I'm healthy? And what would I be doing? What would my thoughts be on my deathbed? What would I put as important? Would you really have somebody make, you know, just, uh, make sure you make the cupcakes because they like cupcakes. No, would you? No, you would not. I would hope you know. Anyway, the person who put this list out is named Laura E. Miller. She is an author and stress expert. So just go to the article. The link is down below. Read the full article on each on each uh, item that what you should do. And just hey, people, breathe and relax because sometimes it just ain't worth the trouble. Kitty, get them.